on CDN. Uh, this feature allows you to proxy your uh, tagging server URL within the same IP address as your main website domain. Uh, the key benefit of this feature is that it helps you to prolong cookie lifetime in Safari and Firefox. So uh, currently browsers uh, with ITP started to reduce the lifetime of first-party cookies that were set from the domains that do not match the IP address of your main website domain. And so basically to overcome this challenge, uh, Stape offers uh, own CDN feature. Uh, let me show you how to configure it. Uh, the first step is to add a custom domain inside your Stape admin. I already have my like standard custom domain added, so I would need to add a new one. Um, so this custom domain that I will use is uh, gtmstape.video. Uh, then uh, click here, add CDN and uh, select own CDN. So basically Stape CDN uh, allows you to uh, serve uh, GS script, scripts faster and own CDN allows you to uh, prolong uh, cookie lifetime in Safari and Firefox. Uh, once you've selected uh, CDN type and added your custom domain, you will see the DNS records that you need to add. Uh, open your DNS provider and uh, configure these DNS records. In my case, I'm using Cloudflare and I'm adding a CNAME, GTM, and value this one. Um, in this case, proxy should be on and uh, click Save. Okay, so this is the first step, and now we need to uh, add a few more additional settings inside the Cloudflare. The first thing that we need to, go to do is go to rules, and uh, here in the uh, configuration rules, cl click create a new rule, and uh, what you need to, to specify is uh, host name contains uh, the custom domain that you've added. And then you need to uh, scroll down to um, SSL option, click Add, and here set to full. So um, we need to add the name of this configuration rule. Let me name it own CDN. and uh, then just uh, click deploy. Um, now we need to go to transformation rules. And here select modify request header and again click create new role. Um, here we need to use a custom filter expression and again select host name contains um, your custom domain and then uh, you need to add here set static header name should be x from cdn and value uh, cf state so i will uh, add all this uh, like screenshots and uh, um, a link to the configuration settings uh, uh, in the video description so it would be easier. Okay, added. Uh, now we need to go to cache rules and again create a new rule, add a name and then again use custom filter expression, add host name contains your custom domain and uh, here uh, we need to select a bypass cache this one and again click deploy changes so basically this is it uh, so besides the dns records for that you need to configure for your uh, own cdn uh, you would need to also create a few rules that I've just uh, showed you. Uh, now we go, can go back to our state admin and uh, check that the changes were implemented correctly. So um, 
Normally, it takes like one, two hours to verify the custom domain, but sometimes it can, it can take up to 72 hours. If uh, domain is not verified after 72 hours, uh, reach out to our support team and we will help you to troubleshoot the issue. So uh, let me try to click verify and we will see what happened. As you can see here, the verification, it takes some time. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me let me refresh again and maybe it will work now. Um, yeah, so uh, basically this is it for configuring on CDN. Uh, my domain is, cast, is currently verifying, so I think I need to wait like a little bit more to show that uh, the configuration was done correctly. Um, yeah, I uh, hope, hope that this video will help you to configure on CDN and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.